Which Bears games are you guys most looking forward to watch? All right, I'm going to give you guys my five top games that I am looking forward to more than any of the other games on the Bears schedule. Obviously, I'm going to watch every single one, but these five are the ones I'm most looking forward to. So with that being said, what is going on, y'all? Fossil Boys all back at it with another video talk. And of course, some NFL here to talk about the Chicago Bears. So if you're a Bears fan, guys, hit that big subscribe button down below. Please make sure you hit the bell icon so you are notified every time I drop a new video. All right, so very simple here. I got five games to share with you guys, and I'm going to go from five all the way to one in terms of the most anticipated games for me. So let's hop right into it. All right, starting off at number five, I've got week four against the LA Rams. All right, so yeah, you might be thinking, really, the Rams fives? Yes, the Rams, and that is because of one specific reason, and that just so happens to be Matthew Stafford, who is a big idol for Caleb Williams. Caleb Williams thinks very highly of Matt Stafford. He essentially called him a top three quarterback in the NFL, and he really looks up to Matt Stafford. Um, I know Aaron Rodgers is another guy he idolizes as well for his quarterback play. Um, but yeah, Matt Stafford, man, just a chance to go up against your idol. That is going to be huge for Caleb. And I want to see how he fares, man. I want to see how he fares. And more importantly, not just Matt Stafford, but the Rams team itself, right? I think they're going to have a bounce back season. This is going to be a tough game. And we're talking about, again, Matt Stafford's one of the most underrated quarterbacks in NFL history, folks. Like, he is so good. And he's got two number one receivers in Cooper Cup and Puka Nakua. Obviously, Sean McVay is incredible. He's my favorite coach in the NFL. So this Rams team, I think they are due for a bounce back. So this should be a fun game. Could be high scoring. It could be a shootout. So that's another factor to look forward to. But yeah, man, just seeing two great quarterbacks go at it, hopefully seeing how Caleb goes, uh, fares against his idol, that's going to be big for me. So Matt Stafford and the LA Rams week four is my number five pick. All right, let's move on to number four here. I've got week six against the Jacksonville Jaguars. Now, this is also at home here, um, and this is another sort of quarterback reason. It's Trevor Lawrence, folks. I want to see, you know, at this point of the season, how Caleb looks versus Trevor Lawrence. And the reason why is because Trevor Lawrence is a former number one overall pick. And the fact of the matter is, like, Trevor Lawrence has been, like, decent in his career he has not been an absolute superstar he's had his moments no no doubt about it he's got a playoff win under his belt but he has not been the generational prospect that he was hyped up to be coming out of Clemson he's not that Andrew Luck uh you know level of play quarterback that we thought he would be and so I want to see hey is Caleb going to be that guy being a another generational prospect sort of and you know going up against another guy another number one overall pick so it's just a battle of number one overall picks who looks better who you know is able to take raise the bar more and so I, I think that's another reason why um, I like this game a lot and the Jags team again this could also be a shootout I like watching fun offenses I know the Jaguars lost Calvin Ridley but they still have Christian Kirk Evan Ingram's pretty good um, you know you've got Brian Thomas Jr. that they drafted uh, this team can still put up points here, right? Not to mention Travis Etienne. So, but I really want to see, hey, is Caleb surpassing the hype that Trevor Lawrence one, once had? Is Caleb actually going to live up to it versus Trevor Lawrence? So that is another uh, game that I'm looking forward to seeing. All right, let's move on to number three. I've got week 14 against the San Francisco 49ers on the road. Boy, this is going to be our toughest game on the schedule, period. I just want to see how the Bears fair in this one not just Caleb but like the entire team right how does our defense play going up against an elite offense right with all the weapons that they have uh, on offense with Debo and Brandon Ayuk now and Brock Purdy and George Kittle like I want to see how our team fares up against a Super Bowl contender a team that has went to the Super Bowl multiple times that is going to be a true test and this is coming later in the season like we'll know what the team is at that point so Obviously, if we feel like we're a good team, this is a great test for us. If we feel like we're a bad team, then obviously this is probably won't be that close of a contest. But I still just want to see it because it's a Super Bowl contender. And you always want to use them as sort of the measuring stick, especially in the NFC. You can say this is the best team in the NFC. So that is the big reason why I want to go up against and see the Niners. All right, moving on to number two here. I've got week 11 against the Green Bay Packers at home. Yes, folks, you know I had to throw the Packers in here. This one is going to be a true 
measuring stick, a true test here because we play our first division game here uh, in week 11. And, you know, it's so rare to have us play our division games later on in the season, but not, there's a couple of reasons here. One, obviously it's a division game. Two, it's the Packers, okay? Three, it's Jordan Love that we're going up against. And I know I am keep talking about Caleb versus these quarterbacks, but folks, that is what the season is about. I've mentioned this before. If, if you ask me, Fies, what is the one indicator of success for you that if this one thing happens, you will consider the season a success? I would tell you that it is knowing that Caleb Williams is your franchise quarterback, like he's proved it, like you feel good about that. The wins don't matter to me. You know, nothing else matters as much as that. Caleb Williams becoming a franchise quarterback, that alone would make the season a success. So yeah, I'm going to talk about that going up against the Packers here. Obviously, I want to beat the heck out of the Packers. I want Caleb to look better than Jordan Love. I think he will be better than Jordan Love. Again, it's easy to say it after the fact. You got to be early to the party. So I'm making my stake here. I don't think Jordan Love's a bad quarterback. He's a good quarterback. I just don't think, you know, he's going to be as good as Caleb is going to be better than him. That's what I feel like is going to happen. But again, you got to go out there and prove it. But yeah, just all of the things combined here, division game, the Packers, Jordan Love, like I just want to see, hey, is it finally time we beat the damn Packers? It's been a minute. It's been a minute. And Caleb, if you are really the chosen one, if you are that guy, can you beat the team that, you know, has our number, has had our number for years now? Can you do it? Because that is going to be the true measuring stick for the Bears. Uh, and for Caleb Williams, really, right? It, it starts with the Packers, man. That's what it is. So to me, this one, I'm really looking forward to. And then finally, my number one game that I'm most looking forward to is very early in the season. It's week two against the Houston Texans. And the reason why is I just think this is going to be a super fun game. We're talking about two explosive offenses, potentially, obviously, hopefully the Chicago Bears are one of them. We're talking about the teams, the two teams with the most stacked weapons. Folks, find me two teams with better wide receivers across the board than the Texans and the Bears. Right with Nico Collins, Stephon Diggs, Tank Dell, DJ Moore, Keenan Allen, Roma Dunze, right? Even the tight ends are decent. Cole Komet, Dalton Schultz. Obviously, you got CJ Stroud, reigning rookie of the year. He could take another leap. So, like, uh, two good defenses. The Texans defense is good. The Bears defense is good. I mean, this is uh, in prime time too. This is this is the game, folks. Like, I'm so looking forward to this game. I'm gonna be glued to my TV here. This one is gonna be a fun one to watch. So I can't wait. Week two at Houston against the Texans, a playoff team, a good team, a loaded team. Hopefully it's a shootout. I can't wait to watch that. So those are my five games that I'm most looking forward to. So just to repeat here for you guys, week four against the Rams at home, week six against the Jaguars at home, week 14 against the Niners on the road, week 11 against the Packers at home, and week two on the road against the Texans. Give me your five games that you're most looking forward to uh, for the Bears this season. Leave a comment down below with your thoughts as always. Thanks for watching.